Sup everybody, it's Dee's World, got another reaction, I'm about to react, Dave Chappelle, um, Sticks and Stones with the Michael Jackson, he's talking about it now, let's see man, it's going, man, every time, I know a long ago when he made that, when he's in San Francisco, a long, long time, like 2004, 2005 or something like that, when you talk about Michael Jackson, that was hilarious, I was a little kid though, but man, or a teenager, well, all right, let's check it out. All right. You think he's going to cook it? Ooh. All right, let's see. Oh. You goddamn sick of it. This is the worst time ever to be a celebrity. You're going to be finished. Everyone's doomed. <laughs> Michael Jackson has been dead for 10 years, and this nigga has two new cases. <laughs> hey, that's a fact, though. <laughs> Ooh. And if you haven't watched that documentary, uh, then I'm begging you, <laughs> don't watch it. It's fucking gross. Oh. I felt like HBO was sticking baby dicks in my ears for four hours straight. Snap. Really nasty shit. I don't want to know all these things. Turns out, uh, Michael Jackson allegedly likes a long gander at the anus. So they said he stares at people's butt. Yeah, you seen that? But like three years ago, or f yeah, like three years ago, those people, two of them trying to sue him right there for 10 years after, you know, that he got from a little kid and stuff. But I don't know, man. I think I don't believe them, you know. Come on, let that dude rest in peace now, man. You had their time to do it for years. If it, I don't know, man. I just don't even think they didn't do it, man. It's crazy. Butt holes, that's what they said. That's how gross the documentary was. It's about like four hours in. For real. I didn't even watch it though. I don't watch the clips though, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna say something that I'm not allowed to say. But I gotta be real. Uh, I don't believe these motherfuckers. Hey, I me too, me too. Believe them. Yeah, that's me right there. But. That's me. Let me qualify the statement. I, I am what's known on the streets as a victim blamer. <laughs> you know what I mean? If somebody come up to me like, Dave, Dave, Chris Brown just beat up Rihanna. I'll be like, well, what did she do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that. <laughs> Dave, Michael Jackson was molesting children. Well, what were those kids wearing at the time? Damn. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think he did it. Ah, uh, me too. But you know what? Even if he did do it, you know what I mean? Ooh. You know what I mean? I mean, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I know more than half the people in this room have been molested in their lives. But it wasn't no goddamn Michael Jackson, was it? <laughs> <coughs> oh snap This kid got his dick sucked by the king of pop <laughs> All we get is awkward thanksgivings For the rest of our lives Ah, oh, sheesh You know how good it must have felt to go to school the next day After that shit Hey Billy how was the weekend How was my weekend Michael Jackson sucks my dick And that was my first sexual experience. <laughs> if I'm starting here, then well, sky's the limit. Damn. This dude's a... Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I know it seems harsh, but man, somebody's got to teach these kids. There's no such thing as a free trip to Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna wanna look at your yeah. butthole or something. <laughs> you know why I don't believe it? You know why I don't believe it? Because if Michael Jackson's out here doing all this molesting, then, then why not Macaulay Culkin? Hmm? Macaulay Culkin said in an interview that Michael Jackson never did anything inappropriate with him or even around him. 
He said, think hey. about that shit. You know, I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> but if I was, <laughs> Macaulay Calkins the first kid, I'm fucking, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be a goddamn hero. Hey, that guy over there <laughs> fucks a kid from home alone. And you know how hard he is to catch. <laughs> oh, man. He's, he's crazy for this one, man. <laughs> oh, I don't know another um, stand-up guy that could say something like that. Let it go, uh, man. <laughs> That's out of pocket, but that's just funny, man. <laughs> My mind's telling me no. Ooh. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, okay, R. Kelly is different. <laughs> I mean, you know, if I'm a betting man, I'm going to put my money on. He probably did that shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. For <laughs> I'm real. I'm pretty sure he did that shit. For real. You know, it was bad, okay? So a couple years ago, I was doing a show in Detroit. And I'm sitting backstage in my dressing room. A friend of mine comes by, this chick, Dream Hampton. Dream uh, tells me, right before I'm going on stage, she goes, Dave, I'm working on a documentary on, about R. Kelly. Would you like to be in it? And I was like, nah, bitch, I'm cool. <laughs> All that R. I went Kelly on stage, shit. I just forgot about the shit. And then two years later, the documentary comes out, Surviving R. Kelly. And when it comes out, Dreams promoting the shit, and she keeps bringing me up. She said, I asked Dave Chappelle to be in my documentary, and he said it was too hot for TV. Bitch, I did not say that. <laughs> it does not even sound like how I talk. Oh, that's too hot for TV? I would never say that shit. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you guys why I wasn't in the documentary. Why? Very simple Why? Reason. Tell us, tell and, us. And uh, I cannot stress this point enough. The only reason that I didn't do... Well, I mean... Why, though? No, why would he be though, to be thinking why? ...do it was because, and it's very important, <laughs> I don't know this <laughs> nigga at all. <laughs> I don't know anything. I don't know anything yeah, that they don't tell me about. Why. I don't hang out with this nigga. <laughs> Nothing. So what the fuck do I got to be in the documentary for? <laughs> this guy, R. Kelly, got another sex tape out now. Can you believe that shit? This guy makes more sex tapes than he does music. <laughs> He's like the DJ Khaled of sex tapes. Another one. Like, damn, nigga. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of tapes. The new one's so bad that they didn't even show it. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. The prosecutor in Chicago came out in a press conference and read to the media a transcript of a sex tape. Have you ever heard of such a thing? This nigga read the sex tape. <laughs> and it was so bad that R. Kelly sounded guilty in the transcripts. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> 16 times the girl's age was mentioned. Isn't that crazy? This motherfucker is an idiot. Yeah, hey man, just like seeing that when he was right there on, I forgot, on the news a long years ago. I think it was uh, Oprah's friend. And he's out. I think, yeah, was it? No, it wasn't Oprah's friend. I think it was before that. Never mind, it was Oprah's friend. Not that one when he started crying. The one a long time ago. I forgot the guy used to go and to and be, be a T or something like that. Um, and he's all like, oh, um, what do you think about high school girls? He's like, what you mean high, high school girls? It's like, it's like, what you mean, man? Like, you're like 30 some years old at the time, 35, man. He's high school, man. <laughs> Idiot for that one. He was fucking her like, yeah, this is the best 14 year old pussy I've ever had in my life. And she was like, you like this 14 year old pussy? He's like, oh yeah, I love this 14. I'm like, man, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know that's what he was like. You gotta 60. give your lawyer something to work with. <laughs> You're supposed to be on the tape like, this is the best 36 year old pussy I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and then your lawyer gonna be like, Your Honor, clearly my client thought that this woman was 36, as he mentioned some 16 times in the tape. <laughs> <laughs> 
They gonna know you lying though, you know what I mean? Everybody knows no such thing as good 36-year-old pussy. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> Sheesh. Doesn't matter what I say. And if you at home watching this shit on Netflix, remember, bitch, you clicked on my face. <laughs> Damn. Day Chappelle, man, I missed that show, Chappelle show. That was the thing. I was in middle school though. Yeah, it was. After the skit right there, next day we used to all talk about right there in, in school. Are oh, you watch it? Yeah. Sometimes we say all the all the jokes and everything all the time. Man, that great times, man. Sh what she do something on YouTube or Netflix or something. I know the, the stand-ups, the first couple ones, they was cool. And then, I don't know, man. They're cool, though. They're still funny. It's just... Yeah. But, yeah, man. That was, that was funny, though, man. <laughs> Dave, Dave Chappelle, I would say, in my opinion, that I... Well, he obviously he's probably the greatest comedian that I've seen in two stand-up stuff, man. There's other people too that's great too right there, but any other, but I would put easy like top three to me. But yeah, man. All right, tell me what you guys think about this, man. Man, that dude is a fool for this, but it was hilarious. <laughs> that dude's hilarious. Oh man, my mind say no, my body, my body say yes. All right, man. Like, subscribe, show love, man. All right, man. Peace.